I was hung. What are you doing? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Shut it off. Shut it off. <laughs> oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you. Such a pleasant surprise. <laughs> and you're here just in time to, to join me in my latest culinary adventure. We're going to try to reinvent the apple pie. That's right. We're going to do it with fresh apples and pizza dough. Doesn't that sound exciting? Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our apples. We're going to peel and uh, core these and then keep them in the largest pieces possible because we're not going to slice or dice these. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So once you have your apples peeled and cored, we're not going to, like I said, we're not going to slice or dice them. We're actually going to grate them. So you're going to grab your box grater and we're going to use the shredding um, side of it. All right, and we're just literally going to go shred our apples. Like that. All right, so we're going to continue to shred. We're going to need about four cups total. Just like that. All right, so next, you're going to grab a separate bowl. You're going to try to squeeze out as much of the juice from the apples as possible. We want the apples to be relatively dry. There's a lot of juice in these apples. So just going to squeeze. A lot of juice coming out. You see it? All right. And see, now they're nice and loose. It's almost like coconut. <laughs> All right, you got to act quick with this stuff, too, because they turn brown on you quick. So... That doesn't really matter because we're adding cinnamon, so, but, uh, squeeze out the juice. All right. So we're going to do that to the rest of them. But make sure you save just about a quarter cup of the juice. You don't want to throw it all away. All right. So we're going to keep doing this. All right. So to these strained apples, I added one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. We're going to add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, and just about a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna mix this all together till all the ingredients are fully incorporated. A nice mix. Ooh, smells good. nice just like that so next we're going to prepare our, our pizza dough so on a lightly floured surface we are going to roll out our pre-made pizza dough you can make the pizza dough if you want you can make it a little bit sweeter by adding sugar to it instead of salt but store-bought's just as good for this project <laughs> all right so we're going to roll this out to about a 14 by 11 rectangle and when you have your dough rolled out you're going to want to drizzle the surface with a little bit of a caramel sauce. Don't go crazy, just a nice little light coating along the whole thing. I'm actually using a salted caramel, um, but regular caramel sauce will work really nice too. But if you don't use a salted caramel, then you want to add about half a teaspoon of salt to your apple mixture. The salt makes all the difference, trust me. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna to continue to drizzle this with the caramel sauce. And when you're done with that, you're ready for your apple mixture. All right, so we're just gonna put the apples right on here and just do a nice coating of your apple pie filling. All right, so we're gonna to continue to spread the surface of this with the apples. Just like that. And now we're ready to roll. So you are gonna start from the bottom, bring it up about an inch or so. And then you're just gonna to continue to roll it. Okay, you're gonna bring up the ends. I'm just gonna to try to pinch these shut. All right, and there we have our apple pie roll. Isn't that fun? All right, so now 
we are ready to start cutting it up. So we're gonna cut these into about one inch rings. And you're gonna place it on a parchment lined foil uh, baking sheet. And I actually put a little bit of a sheet of foil under the parchment paper because these are still gonna leak and I don't want a big mess on my sheet tray. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue to cut these up. And look how cute these are. Aren't they cute? So adorable. And now they're ready for the oven. So you'll see I placed them about two inches apart because these are gonna spread. I'm not sure how much they're gonna spread, but you know, I don't want them to become one giant piece. So we're gonna keep them, you know, a couple inches apart, but they should spread a little bit. All right, so now into a preheated 375 degree oven, they're gonna go for just about 10 to 12 minutes. These won't take too long to cook. You'll see that the dough have spread and the pizza dough has turned a nice golden brown. All right, so we'll see these in 10 to 12 minutes. All right, so I just pulled these out of the oven. They definitely took a little longer than I thought they were going to. So these were cooking for about 19 minutes. So the range should be about 18 to 20 minutes. So we're gonna allow these to cool fully before we make the glaze for them. So we're gonna allow these to cool for at least an hour or so. All right, so you got some time to kill, so you know what that means. That's right. It's everybody's favorite time, it's cocktail time, woo! Alrighty, so for today's apple amaretto sour, we are going to pour one and a half ounces of amaretto. One and a half ounces of apple schnapps. About an ounce and a half of sour mix. If you don't have sour mix, you can always use margarita mix. Just add a little lemon juice. And then we're going to add about an ounce of apple cider. You don't have apple cider, you can use apple juice, or I should have, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have used that apple juice that I squeezed from the apples fresh. <laughs> All right, so it's shaky, shaky time. And we, and we pour. Mmm, yum. Ugh, should have had an apple slice to garnish too. I'm forgetting everything. Sad. All right, time taste test. Cheers. Oh, wow, that's so good. Oh my gosh. I don't think it's gonna be this good. Mm. Oh, wow. All right, so you get the uh, apple, the almond, because of that amaretto, the sour mix, but then the apple cider just makes it really nice and smooth. <gasps> this is phenomenal. You wanna make this drink for yourself, for your friends, for yourself. Make yourself a pitcher. <laughs> so if you try this drink, let us know. Cheers. All right, so now we're ready to make the glaze. So in this bowl, I have one tablespoon of melted butter, salted or unsalted, it doesn't really matter. I use salted, it always makes it a little bit more savory. All right, to this, I'm gonna add one cup of powdered sugar. And then that apple juice that we, you know, saved from the squeezed apples, we're gonna add just about two tablespoons at a time. All right, and then we're gonna whisk this together. So it's all nice and creamy. If it's too loose, you could always add some more powdered sugar. If it's too thin, just add um, a little bit more of the apple cider or the apple juice from the squeezed apples. But this is perfect. Look at this. Wow, first shot. Oh, so we're ready to glaze. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I can't wait. This came out perfect. First time that it came out good first shot. <laughs> Yay. All right, so the little apple pie spirals have cooled. Now we're gonna top with that glaze. <sighs> this looks amazing. Do a nice top right on top. Do these not look amazing? Do they? You can tell me. I can take it. But they look amazing. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna finish putting some of the glaze on top of all of them. And there they are. Your apple pie spirals made with pizza dough. Seriously? All right, now it's time to try them. <gasps> I can't wait. Taste test time. Mmm. <laughs> Do you see that? Mm. 
chewy, sweet. Get the apple, the caramel, the cinnamon, even hints of the vanilla, but oh, the glaze, the apple glaze is everything. Oh. And I guarantee you, you would never know this is pizza dough. This is spectacular. Wow. Wow. I impressed myself with this one. <laughs> so if you try this recipe, let us know. Thanks for watching. Wow, these ah! are so good. I can't stop ah! eating them. Yes, Lulu? Yes? Ah! No, I'm not going to eat them all. Ah! I was going to ah! share. Ah! I promise I was going to share. Ah! Yes, ah! I'll share with you now. Ah! I promise. Ah! I promise. I'll get one for you now, okay? Sheesh. <sighs> Unbelievable. Good girl. <laughs> All right, I'll get it. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks.